Welcome to the introduction to Microsoft Excel Charts, Part 7 of 7 Parts, presented by the Fruitland Park Library, narrated by Gloria. Video includes charts, chart elements, chart styles, chart values. In order to work along with the tutorial, it may be necessary for you to have two open windows side by side. It does not matter if one window is a website and the other is an application or program. The steps of maximizing or restoring down a window is the same for both. We will be using the website YouTube and Notepad as examples. The opening slides will suggest different methods. Please see slides 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 before continuing with the tutorial. In the upper right corner, there is a Maximize Restore Down button. Restore Down reduces the window to half its size, as you see below. Maximize or Restore Down button becomes a single square. When the window is maximized, it fills the entire screen and the button is a double square. You can adjust the width and the height by hovering the cursor on the right, left, top, or bottom edge of the window. The cursor will change from the normal arrow to an arrow with points at each end. You can then resize the window. Arrows are shown in red and blue for better visibility. Arrows will be white on the screen. You can move the window to a new location on the screen by placing the cursor near the top blue arrow and holding down the left mouse button, then drag it to the new location and release the mouse button. If you do not have Microsoft Word on your computer and you are using Windows operating system, you can use Notepad to open two windows side by side. Click on the Windows icon in the lower left corner. Scroll down to Windows Accessories and click. A drop-down menu will open. Click on Notepad. Notepad size can be adjusted just like Word using the same steps. You can also save, open, print, copy, paste, and more using Notepad. After adjusting the first window, open a second window and repeat the steps. As you can see, the second window overlapped the first. Place your cursor near the top of the second window. Cursor should be a white arrow. Hold down the left mouse button and drag the second window off of the first window. The two windows will be side by side, allowing you to follow the instructions in the video. However, using this method will require you at times to use the right side and bottom scroll sliders. A second method is to use the minimize button, which will drop a window down to the taskbar. Click on it to open it up. Using this method does require you to switch back and forth between the two windows. Just pause the video, minimize the window, and open up the other window. The last suggestion is to take your laptop or smartphone to a library and use one of the library computers. Open the tutorial on the computer or smartphone and use the other to follow along with the tutorial. Please click on your Excel icon and open the workbook part three. Charts. We are going to have a quick look at charts. Because humans are visual, sometimes the only way for them to understand the true meaning of a worksheet is to help them visualize the concept. The best way to do this is with a chart. When creating a chart, you need to select one set of numbers to graph. You will also select labels to explain what the numbers mean. Each number will have its own label. Both the numbers and labels need to be present on the worksheet, but they do not need to be in adjacent rows or columns. As the worksheet shows, the cheddar flavor is the product making the least amount of money. We'll use a chart to visually display the poor sales of this item. Please highlight columns A and B, rows 2 through 7. Remember, the first column you attempt to highlight will remain white. Go to the Insert tab. Insert tab under the Charts group. Click on the Column Chart icon. Please click on the chart on the top left. It's called a Cluster Column Chart. 
The chart should be in the middle of your workbook. Click once anywhere inside the chart to select it, and two new tabs become available, the Design and Format tab. Click anywhere else outside the chart and the tabs will disappear. Chart Options The plus sign controls items called chart elements. You can insert or remove from within the chart. Just for fun, click on the plus sign and hover over each box and watch what it does to the chart. Style feature gives you options on how you wish the chart to look. Filter shows values. If you clicked on anything, please click undo to return the chart to normal. How to chart bar colors. Click on the bar on the right. All bars become selected. Click the bar on the right again and it will be the only bar selected. Then click from one bar to the next to select each one individually. Click on the Chart Tools Format tab. Click on Shape Fill. Click on a color. The selected bar then changes to the color you selected. Changing the colors on a chart is just that easy. To remove data from the chart, click the filter icon and uncheck the boxes next to the data you wish to remove from the chart, then click Apply. This concludes the introduction to Microsoft Excel Charts Part 7 of 7 Parts. Thank you for joining us for the final Part 7. We hope you enjoyed it and will be joining us for more tutorials. If you have any questions or would like a transcript of this video, please contact me at G. Terry at My Lake Library or call 352-360-6564.